Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, July the 9th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 4 and Romans 8, verses 26 to 30. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, the source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. When, alleluia, when I call, answer me, O oh God of justice. Alleluia. Psalm 4. When I call, answer me, O oh God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. O oh, rebels, how long will your hearts be closed? How long will you love what is futile and seek what is false? For it is God the Most High who grants favors to those who are merciful. It is God who hears me whenever I call. Tremble then and sin not. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in God the Most High. Many ask, what can bring us happiness? Shine the light of your face on us, O beloved God. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new wine. I lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once, for you alone make me dwell in safety. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, beginning at verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the spirit, because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good. For those who love God, who are called according to God's purpose, for those who God foreknew, God also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom God predestined, God also called. And those whom God called, God also justified. And those whom God justified, God also glorified. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. 
Be our light in the darkness, O God, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant Jennifer as she begins another year. Grant that she may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen her trust in your goodness all the days of your life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Yahweh my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia.